Live from love, not for love. I know all of us, all of us want to be loved and accepted for who we are, for what we are. And the only person that accepts us, the only person that accepts us completely, unconditionally, is God. He's love. The Bible says that. God is love. So live from his love, not for his love. Right? Because if you understand how much he loves you, all the other love that, will, that, that you are wanting from other people, those will just be cherry, cherries on top of your cake. Right? But if once you receive and understand as much as you can how much God loves you, you honestly won't need any other, any other love because no human can love you like God. No human can love you unconditionally, no matter how they try. There's always conditions or they'll leave you, right? That's humans. God, there are no conditions. He will never leave you. He says that. He will never leave you or forsake you. We need to start reading his word and believing it and receiving it because that is what's going to transform our soul. That is is what's going to help us walk victoriously in this life. So live from his love, out of his love, not for his love, because you've got it. He's told you over and over again, you've got his love. He wants to show up every day in your life. And he wants you to look for his goodness, even Troubles on your path are his goodness because he's trying to get you to see you can't do it on your own. You need him. Why does the Bible say that the Lord is our shepherd and we are likened to sheep? Read the book Psalm 23 by Philip Keller. It tells you all about a shepherd and sheep and it will amaze you. Sheep, they're, um, they're, they're helpless creatures without a shepherd. They're helpless without a shepherd. And so are we. So every day, get up, look for your shepherd and allow him to lead you to green pastures, to still waters, <laughs> to restore your soul, to walk you through the valley of the shadow of death because he's going to be with you. Allow him to prepare a table before you in the presence of of your enemies. Allow him to anoint, anoint you. Watch your cup flow over and expect his mercy to chase you down all the days of your life.